everyone and welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel. And today we're here to take a look at the Rapido Trains UK LNER Dynamometer car. This is a model from the second run that they produced. On the first run that they produced, which I think was a year or so back, which they were exclusives for Rails of Sheffield, I didn't get one. But when they announced the second run of these, I had to have one. And the reason I have bought one is because I thought it would look nice to have this running around with my LNER locomotives with the teaks that I have. So the version I've gone for is 935001, number 23591, in the 1928-1938 LNER livery condition. So I'll get this unboxed and we'll get it down on the layout. So here we have the dynamometer car out of the box and down on the layout. So first thing to report it is in mint condition, there's no damage done to the model or any scratches or anything that we don't want to see when we get the model and then unbox it. Because it is quite frustrating having to send things back. Now these models have had a bit of spirit of bad luck. When this batch first arrived at the warehouse just before the end of last year there was an accident where they were dropped on the floor from the lorry so they then had to inspect the models before they could release them for any damage and there was no damage done to the models and to be honest really looking at the packaging there doesn't seem to be any damage done to that either so that shows just how sturdy the packaging is but also just how well the models are made however then when the models were released, Rapido then had to recall them because of issues with the third party lighting in the models which was causing them to overheat and I think in rare and extreme cases even causing the roof to melt I believe. So it was quite disappointing having to send the model back as soon as I received it so that it could be repaired but all credit to Rapido Trains they made the right decision they recalled them and they got them repaired which they have done and the repaired models have now started to arrive mine has just arrived I'm just happy to now finally have it on the layout and I think that this is something as well that other manufacturers could learn from so I'm really pleased to now finally have the model on the layout so now it can start earning its keep so now I have to test just how well this coach rolls. So I'm just going to push it along. And I am expecting it to roll back as it's doing so now because the baseboards on this layer aren't exactly even. So that's something to be sorted out I think soon when the layer gets rebuilt to make sure that it is even. But, you know, it rolls very smoothly as you've seen. And so it's very free running as well, so that's excellent. Now this model does come with working interior lighting. And this can be turned on and off using a magnetic wand. Now I have turned the lights off so that you can see the lighting in the coach a bit better. So what you need to do is you need to take your wand and wave it over the centre on the upper section of the roof, just like so and you can see the lights are now on and then to turn them off you just basically wave it over the upper section of the roof so I've turned the lights on to now, now that you can see the wand supplied with the model easily and I have to say I think this is a brilliant feature so that's a great bit of innovation to see 
and I think it really adds something to the model so it's just superb to see so I'm making a start with the detail first of all this model comes with as you can clearly see and a standard slim tension lock couplings which will be replaced with magnetic ones also this model does come with sprung buffers and they are made out of plastic I know it would have been nice to have seen metal buffers but these buffers are painted so they do look really nice and the painting on those has been done very neatly and it really just adds a nice little bit of detail to the model. I know that painted buffers might not necessarily be to everyone's liking but I think it really does make it stand out. Now let's take note of the amount of detail that has been put into the model. There's a wealth of separately fitted detail parts on here. Guarantee you if there's any moulded detail bits on this model that's having a look at this model so far I expect that very little detail from what I've seen so far on this model has been moulded. I mean look at the detail for a start on the corridor gangway there. You have glazing in the front windows here. You've got the steps there so the crew can use if they need to get up to the top of the couch for whatever reason. You've also got separately fitted lamp iron as well. And you've also got separately fitted metal handrails going down the ends of the couch. There's another separately fitted lamp iron just here on this side as well. Also just have a look at that metal grid on the gangway door. That's a separately fitted part. It's not moulded, it's a separate piece. And that's been painted as well and that just looks fantastic. Now just take a look at the detail that's gone into the roof as well. You've got the roof vents in the top windows here on this upper section. In the windows there, there is actually a pattern in them. And that looks stunning. You've got a separately fitted handrail on the top of the roof. And also you have what I believe is supposed to be some sort of water condensing pipe or something or other. But that piece regardless is separately fitted. Even the door handles and the handrails have been separately fitted and painted as well. When you go along the frames of the couch you can see there is some pipework detail there that's been separately fitted. Not to mention you have a dial and the printed detail on that looks fantastic. Not to mention a few rivets as well, all along the frames. And it's always great to see the rivet detail on these models. For the bogey details you have the axle boxes. You've also got rivet detail as well as the step boards as well. On the bogey frames. We've also got the underframe detail here, such as the battery boxes. Of course, you have metal wheels, as you would expect. We've also got metal pickups because otherwise the lighting wouldn't work. We've also got the brake rig in there, already pre fitted. But also, just look at all the other underframe detail that you get. And none of that is moulded, that's all been separately fitted and that looks absolutely stunning. Also take note of this extra wheel here. Now with this wheel this is actually for the dynamometer function so basically what would happen this wheel will be lowered down onto the railhead and that would then basically give them the speed that the train was going at. Now the detail on that is absolutely exquisite. The real wheel doesn't lower down onto the rails but to be honest I wouldn't really expect it to. I suspect that that possibly might be a bit difficult and if it could be done it might make the model more expensive but it's there and the detail on that still looks fantastic. We've got some more separately fitted handrails on this side of the roof as well. 
Now I have put the lights back on because I really do have to show you the interior detail on this model which is absolutely amazing. You can see all the dynamometer equipment in there. It's all there and it's been painted. Especially got that bit of paper there. That's what that's supposed to be. That basically gives you the reading of the speed of the train. That would be recorded on that. We've also got that brake wheel there. Well, just look at all the detail in this part of the interior as well. You know, that's not low quality detail, that's all been painted and it's been painted absolutely exquisitely. It's just like the real thing, the way it's been done. I'll just quickly show you the other side. The toilet's even in there as well, and painted. I mean, there's not too many couch models that comes with this amount of detail in the interior. This one has. So, a massive round of applause to Rapido for that. I have to talk about the livery application, which is absolutely stunning. You've got all the lining on the couch body, very crisply and neatly applied. You've got Dynamomic to car LNER and the couch number. Correct style numerals and font, crisply and neatly applied. And then you've got the teak look on the bodywork. And the way it's been done, it really does look like it's been made of wood, and it just looks fantastic. You've also got the roof as well, which for this condition, as per the prototype, for this particular period, it did have a grey roof. And I think the grey roof in particular will go very well with my teak coaches, which also have grey roofs. As I think having a dynamometer car with a white roof for my teaks would look perhaps a bit out of place, maybe. I have to show you the detail on the other end of the couch and that detail is just fantastic you can see we have separately fitted lamp irons, you've got the footsteps you have these grids that are in place of the windows as per the prototype they are separately fitted parts and they've been painted they look stunning, you've also got some pipe work running down along the end of the body as well and then you also have what appears to be some sort of cover for the corridor gangway on this end as you can see here. The detail on that looks pretty fine. You've got some more detail here on the end of the gangway itself. And honestly the amount of detail that's gone into this is just absolutely phenomenal. Rapido trains really have gone above and beyond with this model. They've really captured all the detail every single nut and cranny, not to mention the shape and the overall looks of this model, spot on. They really have nailed it. So here are a couple of goodies that you get with the model. You have this sticker and you have an accessory bag which comes with additional detail parts. You have some vacuum pipes, you've got the screw link couplings, you've also got these etched grills which are actually screens to fit onto the front windows on the one end of the coach. You've also got these parts here as well, as you can see, to fit onto the sides of the coach. So they are optional, you either choose to fit them or you don't. I might add some of them later on. But that's what you get with the model. So I've pretty much covered all the detail on this model. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put magnetic couplings on this model and I'm going to get it hauled down the layout with my teak couches appropriately hauled by an LNER loco. And then we're going to get on to my final conclusion and I cannot wait to get this model running on the layout at last. This is going to be quite something to see.
So you've seen the LNER dynamometer car hauled around the layout along with the rake of teaks hauled by the W1 Hush Hush and I have seen photographs of the Hush Hush with a rake of coaches with the dynamometer car so it was nice to be able to recreate that so what are my final thoughts on the Rapido dynamometer car I think it's an absolute phenomenal model it's very well priced and the detail is just absolutely stunning this really does have the wow factor you look at it and you just basically drool over it I personally can't fault it I think it's a great model and especially big thanks to Rapido for recalling these and repairing them so it's great to finally be able to have this on the layout to run so I'm going to be enjoying this so that said and done that brings us to the end of this video thank you all so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it if you like what you see subscribe to the channel also feel free to post a comment and hit the like button and after you watch this video, why not check out all my other content I have on the channel. But until next time, take care. Bye for now.